Hey, what's up everybody? It's Crycoda here. Um, I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on mixing vocals, but it's not gonna be very in-depth. It's just gonna be some basic things you can do to make your vocals sound more clear and more professional than, uh, let's say, just recording them raw. So, first thing I'm gonna do is just record a quick thing. I like to note that I'm doing this in uh, Adobe Audition because uh, I really like this program. Lots of people use uh, Cool Edit Pro, but I think Adobe Edition is, is more uh, upgraded and it's more up to date with with this era. You know what I'm talking about? All right, so I quickly marked the track to record and I'm just gonna record something really quick. The button to record is down here if you don't know that. Hey, what's up? This is Cody from Toots R Us. Yeah. All right, I just press space bar to stop the recording. And that's what I came up with. It should be in mono recording, but whatever. For now, we'll just keep it as that. So to get into the edit, to edit the wave files themselves, you can either double click this track right here, or you can go up to the top left and click edit. And this is where the wave is. So here's how the wave file looks. It's just, it's the same interface. It just changes this, this main area. What I like to do first is select a portion of the start, go up to effects, Restoration, noise reduction, and right there, capture profile. What that does is it takes the part that you highlighted and, and captures that. And then once you go into the actual noise reduction process, it removes that, those noises throughout the whole clip. So just capture the noise profile real quick. Then there's a convenient little button right here to select the entire file, which you need to do to remove the noise from the entire file. Now, with my microphone, I do I do high because I don't have a lot of background noise because I have a, a pretty professional mic. By the way, I'm recording on a blue microphone right now. And high basically removes all the sound from me and it doesn't leave any distortion. But if you have a less lesser quality microphone, you might want to lower it a little bit depending on how bad the, the thing is. The line should be around where I have it, but if you have it up here in crazy stuff, if you remove a lot of it, it'll sound robotic and it'll just get nasty. So that's what I do. See how it made it more thinner? The lines, the lines are, all the background noise is gone. That's what I do first of all. Second of all, Adobe Audition has a very nice feature called Mastering. And what it does is it, it adds reverb, it adds some effects that clear out the vocals and make them sound more pronounced and nice. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna highlight the whole file, go to Special, Mastering, and there's the window that comes up. You can set your own preset if you want. You can use their presets. I don't really recommend using their presets because each song, you should probably have a different vocal set. You should probably try and match it to the song, match it to the instrumentals, do that kind of thing. You shouldn't really have a preset for each song. So basically just fool around with these. Uh, down here at the bottom, there's a play button to test it out, to preview what you have. What is a nice thing for my mic and for most sound songs I make are 9 Reverb, 70, Exciter. Keep these all the same. I keep this on tube and that should sound really nice for your vocals. At least they do for mine. So mess around with it and just make sure that it's right for your song. After that, what I like to do is I like to add effects to the whole track. Instead of just editing the wave file itself, I like to add certain effects to the whole track to make sure I still have that raw audio clear sound but not editing the actual WAV file so I can take out things, make things better. To do that, just click on the effects panel on the track and you come up with this. These are your effects list. You can add effects to each thing, you can add more than one obviously and just go crazy with it. What I what I like to do is add some compression to it, some dynamic processing compression. This is really nice. It makes it makes your vocals sound way different. Rap presence is usually what I use to make my songs. It makes it sound more. Uh, it makes it sound more in tune with the with the instrumentals. It makes it more like it's a full song instead of just separate parts. So that's just a nice, simple, quick way to make clear vocals and nice sounding vocals in your tracks. So have fun with that guys and I'll see you next time. 
Hey, what's up? This is Cody from Tootsie Russ. Yeah.